Welcome to my channel, Time is with a Window, and today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. You can see the suspect makes his way over here towards the middle with the scout, takes a shot, is not quite able to connect. Uh, the CT re-peeks out on him. He's taking shots left and right and finally connects with a headshot. Even though that seemed a little bit low for a headshot, but hey, you know what? If CSGO says it was a headshot, it was a headshot, damn it. Either way, one guy up on catwalk peeks out and peeks back, and uh, the suspect is not able to spot him. So far, it does not look like the suspect's using anything, especially anything for aim. Doesn't seem like he's using anything for walls. So he's going to be making his way up here on catwalk. He gets completely surprised, takes down Toaster from behind, and now they are in a 4v1 situation against Kite, who is rotating around through catwalk or underpass. I'm not entirely sure which way he's going to go, but he has the option to go either. Looks like he's going to be going up towards top mid and making his way towards catwalk. Maybe he's just going to be holding. I mean, he only has a deagle and armor, so it's a very difficult situation. Pushes one guy on catwalk, and he gets taken down by Pelican. Meanwhile, the suspect here has 10 kills and an 80% headshot percentage. But, given the situation of the first round that we saw, it looks like it's a lower skill level game. His shot doesn't look like it's insane. And unless he does something crazy, I'm going to have to say he's not cheating. Maybe his teammates uh, called him for griefing because he's using nothing but a scout. But so far, he's doing his job with the scout. And I can't imagine anyone's going to be complaining right now. It's not like they're desperate for rounds. And it feels like he's not trying. It kind of feels like he's doing what he's supposed to. One guy underneath balcony is holding over here towards stairs to see if anyone decides to peek up. Looks like one does peek. He's not quite fast enough to react to Kite there. Now, he is getting pushed over here by ladder. Falls back into Palace, but actually is going to go all the way around, and his teammate's going to take down Ostrich from behind. Good cover by his teammate, and good trade kill right there by the suspect taking down Kite. Now they have a 2v2 situation. Two guys rotating through CT spawn. Suspect doesn't exactly know where they're at. He's going to throw a flash. Check towards CT. He does hit a nice headshot on the diamond. One more guy over there at CT spawn. Peeks out, he hasn't spotted him out yet, he knows he's there because of his teammate. Finally does spot him, tags him through the wood there, and he's going to go down. Alright guys, so far, he looks pretty clean to me, what about you? 12 kills, 177 damage around, with a 75% headshot percentage. Gonna go with the scout again. Obviously, if he was reported for something, it's because he bought scouts every round. Which... Seems to be a more popular thing than I realized. I'd find it a little bit annoying if we're losing and he's buying scouts all the time. At least he's doing something with it. It's not like he's AFK. thing about competitive is you want to do everything you can to win. People say maybe he feels more confident, more consistent with a scout than he is with an AWP. And that's why he's not upgrading to a bigger gun. I mean, he's got 5.4k, he could definitely go with an AWP, or an auto sniper for that matter. The scout does have a movement speed advantage though, so I can understand that to an extent if you're hitting all your shots. It can be pretty unstoppable. He's going to be making his way over here towards the B site. Good call here. He knows that they've rotated, it seems. I'm not saying he's walling, I'm saying that at least he's paying attention to everyone on the map. He's able to take down Diamond. He's going to pick up an AK here. Go for Kite. Nice headshot on the Kite. He actually switched to the AK from the Scout. So I'm definitely not going to call him for a griefing charge here. I don't know why he keeps looking at the ground. I think he's looking for his Scout. Either way, he does find Toaster. And he's able to take him down and finish the round. Now he wants his Scout back, but he doesn't know where it went. I think it went under the guy's body. Alright, so he's got 15 kills. 186 damage around with an 80% headshot percentage. This guy is just destroying the other team. Toaster's in window. He's going to take a couple shots here. Toaster makes his way over to the right side. He gets tagged by the scout. Obviously, the suspect has gone back to the scout. He's going to continue to spam that window guy. Dart's able to take down Banjo, and the suspect is making his way down towards mid. I think he spotted that guy out a little bit, and maybe he didn't notice him. 
All right, Ostrich is up there towards the ladder. Ruby comes down into window room with his teammate here, Toaster, over to the right. Now it looks like he's going to Catwalk. Suspect's able to take down Toaster. This definitely seems like a lower skill level game. He's going to be looking over here towards the middle. Takes a shot over to the right of him. Takes a shot and connects with him. And let's see if he's able to finish him off. Going for the no-scopes. And no, but his teammate's going to take down Ostrich. And again, another... Another example of why this seems like it might be a lower skill level game. That CT could not hit him, no matter how many opportunities he gave him. He has 16 kills now, 186 damage around. I'm not sure if he's a smurf in a lower ranked game or if he's just playing a lower ranked game. But he is definitely destroying the other team with this scout alone. And I think they just reported him because he has so many kills. It will take down Banjo, a nice little headshot there. And of course he gets traded out immediately. Score is six to four. Making his way back over here towards middle. Got that scout in hand again. Guy left side of window. Doesn't seem like he knows he's gonna peek out. Takes a shot, not quite able to connect with him. One guy over here by triple box. He actually does tag him slightly. Can't quite finish him off though. He knows there's a guy pushing up on him from the right side here. He's gonna have to go for the no scope and he hits the headshot. Followed up by the headshot on the diamond there. And yeah, that's probably why they, they reported them. He's hitting a lot of headshots with that scout. He's starting to do really well with it. And obviously he's got a lot of kills, especially compared to his teammates here. I'm going to have to go with Smurf. The more I watch it, the more I'm thinking Smurf. Hits another headshot there. Maybe an aimbot. Maybe. Maybe it's correcting it slightly. We'll see. He started to hit a lot of headshots. Takes his time there though, and he kills him. Ah, it's just got to be a lower level game. I mean, he's given, he's been given way too much time to correct his aim and make sure he's on target before he's shooting. So, if it were a higher level game, I don't think he'd be hitting these hot shots. People are just standing around out in the open and and not really paying attention to those directions he's coming from too. See this guy's back. This guy's gonna peek out. He's gonna go for the repeeks. Not able to connect. And he's going to get taken down. As you can see there, it doesn't look like he's using any kind of aim assistance or anything like that. It just kind of looks like he's taking shots with the scout. He's aiming as best he can. And for the most part, it's good enough in this game. There is one guy in window, one guy pushing in connector. Takes a shot with a deagle. Does a little bit of damage, but decides to fall back. Suspect, however, is going to continue to check that window. He does spot one guy out, takes a shot. The Pelican's actually going to get the kill on him. And that's going to leave two CTs left. One over there towards the B site on Catwalk. And of course, one guy making his way towards window. Okay, the suspect PK'd Pelican for no reason there, it seems like. Maybe he was called for griefing. Guys, this is just one of those cases. Toaster's here in window, he's going to take him down with a headshot, and that's all we get to see. I would like to know if he actually TK's his teammate more, but he was definitely, he definitely TK'd his teammate on purpose there. His teammate lost an AWP, and uh, I can understand his teammate being upset for that and probably reporting the griefing. The thing is, was it persistent that he continued doing it, or was he just uh, being silly with a friend that round? I mean, that's what we got to determine, because if it was only one round, it didn't cost them the round. Okay, let's go to griefing charges. Minor disruption griefing. Uh, the evidence you reviewed would be judged by a reasonable member of the CSGO community as clearly demonstrating that the suspect exhibited behavior that was disruptive, anti-competitive, or anti-social. And yeah, that would be anti-competitive and anti-social, but he didn't lose the round, and he wasn't deliberately interfering with or trying to be damaged or damaged by teammates for the most part, with the exception of one round. So, is one round enough or should we give him a pass on that one since they were winning? And he was doing his job. He dropped the scout when he wanted to uh, win that 1v3. But I don't know. I think he was, I, I kind of think he was just being a troll that game. And that's why he was using the scout. And even though he was doing really well, it was much better than the other team. I kind of am wanting to go with the griefing charge, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, major disruption aim assistance, that is insufficient evidence. Major disruption vision assistance, that is insufficient evidence and major disruption of external assistance. That is insufficient evidence. So, move our way up to griefing. 
That is the only thing we can really call this guy on because his aim looked natural. He didn't seem to have more awareness of people's locations than he should have. And uh, he wasn't bunny hopping all over the place or anything like that. But he did grief. And we can give him the quick griefing ban for this because honestly, even though he did TK his teammate, which usually I'll, I'll, I'll skip over that, he was using the scout the entire time. And that was probably annoying his teammates in the first case. But he was also a smurf. So ah, it's a hard situation because he was carrying them completely. I mean, it's evident beyond reasonable doubt that he was definitely griefing his team. But should he be called for it? That's the real question. I'm going to submit it like this this time. But you guys tell me in the comments down below and maybe in the next time and in, in the future if I get a case just like this one. Um, if you guys can convince me otherwise, I'll go with insufficient evidence and be a little bit more lenient on it. Because it's actually one of those where I'm kind of not sure if I should report it or not because he was carrying, they were winning, and he TK'd once. And even though he was enjoying just using that scout, it's not like he was making it impossible for the team to win because he was using that scout. He was obviously a smurf, and he just had more confidence about just going around and taking everyone down. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.